Welcome to Counselor Soapbox video channel, Learning About Alcohol Series Part 6. Today we're going to talk about the acute effects of alcohol. Alcohol has many acute effects on the body. It affects the digestive system, where it impedes digestion. It affects the circulatory system. Alcohol is a vasodilator, and it affects the kidneys. The antidiuretic hormone is suppressed, increasing urination. This only happens when the level of alcohol in the bloodstream is rising. Alcohol has a number of effects on the liver. In a later video, we'll talk about specific diseases of the liver which alcohol causes. But the short-term effects are small amounts can cause rapid accumulation of fat in the liver, which interferes with glucose production and storage. This can result in fluctuations in blood sugar, either low blood sugar or high blood sugar. The brain uses a lot of glucose, which is one of many reasons that alcohol affects thinking and cognition. Alcohol also affects the P450 enzyme metabolism, which results in altered metabolism of other drugs. Alcohol has a number of effects on the central nervous system. People used to think that alcohol was a stimulant. It's not. It's a depressant. It disinhibits the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that sometimes inhibits us from doing uh, things we shouldn't do. Alcohol changes the structure, nerve cell membranes, and alters nerve cell functioning. It also changes the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain. Alcohol can result in significant memory disturbances, and at high enough levels, it can depress respiration and result in death. As the blood alcohol content rises, the effects change. One drink results in a level of 0.02. At this point, people will feel relaxed and it will take one hour to remove. Two and a half drinks will produce a blood alcohol level of 0.05. In some areas, this will result in a wet reckless, meaning you can be arrested if you have violated a traffic law. In some jurisdictions, this is the new DUI level. That will take two and a half hours to leave your system. Four drinks, 0.08, a blood alcohol level, in most jurisdictions in the U.S. results in a driving under the influence or driving while intoxicated. People at this level are legally drunk and will take at least four hours for the alcohol to be removed from the system. Five drinks, 0.10, used to be the legal definition of legally drunk, and that takes at least five hours to be removed. Ten drinks, 0.20, results in people being emotionally erratic, and they will continue to be legally drunk for at least six hours afterwards. At 16 drinks, 0.32, most people are stuporous. That is, they're not unconscious, but the lights are on and nobody is home. It will take at least 16 hours for the alcohol in the system to be processed and removed. 20 drinks reaches a blood alcohol content of 0.40. This is, for most people, a coma uh, between 0.40 and 0.50. 0.45 is considered the LD50, the level at which half of the people who reach this amount of alcohol in the bloodstream uh, will die. And at 0.60, almost all people will be dread. How is it that if people uh, become comatose at 0 0.40, they could reach higher levels, such as 0 0.60. Well, people who drink the alcohol rapidly or lying uh, semi-conscious with their mouth open and someone else pours alcohol into their mouth, 
that alcohol still will go from the stomach into the intestine, into the bloodstream, even after the person has lost consciousness. Women are affected by alcohol more than men. They have lower alcohol dehydrogenase in the stomach, meaning that more alcohol moves through the stomach and into the intestine. They have less water in their system, more fat cells, and as a result, the alcohol is not diluted as much. It will be interesting to see in the future as more and more people are smoking marijuana. Marijuana is fat soluble, and so women seem to be affected more, uh, have more ability to smoke marijuana rather without being affected or showing the signs. Women are more likely to develop liver disease as a result of drinking alcohol because one drink produces higher blood alcohol levels in the woman. Alcohol can also affect the menstrual cycle, and women have risks from sexual assault and pregnancy, as well as the possibility, if they get pregnant, of having damage to the unborn fetus. We'll talk more about fetal alcohol spectrum disorder in future videos. What are the characteristics of alcoholism or addiction to alcohol? Tolerance, that is needing more and more of the drug to get the same effect, or if someone consumes the same amount of alcohol they would get less and less effect. Withdrawal, which means that when the substance is being processed and removed from the body, people will have symptoms, either psychologically or physical symptoms. And another key characteristic of addiction to any substance is having cravings when deprived of the substance. This is an additional um, characteristic for substance use uh, diagnosis. And there are others in the DSM, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. Alcoholism or alcohol use disorder does not equal impairment. Uh, some impairment can occur simply from how fast someone drinks. If the blood alcohol content climbs rapidly, it can affect both memory and other impairments. There was a time before modern anesthesiology when alcohol was used as an anesthetic. It's not very good for that. Trying to use alcohol to reduce pain can be very dangerous. The effective dose, the amount that is necessary to knock someone unconscious, is very close to the lethal dose, the amount which would be fatal. It's important to remember when we talk about alcohol here, we are always talking about ethanol or ethyl alcohol, grain alcohol. There are other types which are not suitable for human consumption. Methanol, methyl or wood alcohol, takes nine times as long to break down as ethyl alcohol. The alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme metabolizes uh, methyl alcohol into formaldehyde and then into formic acid. Drinking methyl or wood alcohol can lead to blindness and even death. Also, isopropyl or rubbing alcohol found in aftershaves or perfume and glycol alcohol, ethylene glycol, antifreeze, are sometimes consumed by alcoholics who are unable to get their hands on a ethyl alcohol. Both of these cause serious health damage if consumed. What's ahead? Over the next few months, we're going to look at a lot more information in the Learning About Alcohol series. There will also be some additional drug education videos and mental health and wellness videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button directly below Comments are always appreciated. To receive new videos in this series, please subscribe.
Thank you for watching the Counselor's Soapbox video channel. For more information on these topics, please visit the counselorsoapbox.com blog, where you will find over 1,500 articles on mental health, substance abuse, and having a happy life. The David Joel Miller fiction and nonfiction books are available on Amazon. Photos here are courtesy of Pixabay and Wikimedia Commons and are all licensed under Creative Commons free for commercial use licenses. Thank you again for watching.